So, today we'll be proving that no integer in the sequence 11, 111, 1111, etc. is a perfect square. So let's jump into it. Okay, so one thing we should note about perfect squares. Let's look at, look at perfect squares. modulo 4 okay so if i have a number n and i square it okay so what is this equal to mod 4 well if n is equivalent to 1 mod 4 then n squared is also equivalent to 1 mod 4 um, essentially in doing these calculations you can you can basically square this um, remainder and then just reduce it modulo four, and that, that'll give you your answer. So, so you'll see that in a minute. So if n is equal to two mod four, then n squared is also equivalent, not also equivalent to two, it's equivalent to two squared, which is four, aka zero mod four. If n is equivalent to three mod four, then n squared is equivalent to 9 mod 4. Reduce it mod 4 and you get 1 mod 4. And then uh, the trivial case, if n is equivalent to 0 mod 4, then um, n squared is equivalent to 0 mod 4. And just to really rigorously justify this, I'll do it for the case uh, maybe n equals 3, and, and all the other cases will, will have a similar idea. So if n equals 3, then I can write n as 4, k plus 3 if n equals 3 mod 4 right for some integer k and now um, if i square this i'm going to get um you know 4k squared i'm not even going to square 4 um, plus 2 times 3 times 4 times k plus 3 squared okay and notice how the only term that doesn't have a factor of 4 is the 3 squared. So the only term that doesn't have a factor of 4 is, is this remainder. And so when I reduce this mod 4, reducing mod 4 gets rid of any factors of 4. So both of these terms disappear, and I'm just left with 3 squared mod 4, which is 9 mod 4, which is 1. Okay, so that's the logic of how I can go from here to, um, to this right-hand side. Now with this information, it's actually very valuable because now I know that n squared must be equal to either zero or one mod four. There's no other, there's no other possibility. So any perfect square has to be either divisible by four or it has to be of the form 4k plus one. Well, let's look at this sequence, okay? So let's take this sequence mod four. So 11 mod four, in case you were wondering if 11 is a perfect square, 11 mod 4 is, um, I should really not write it like this, is um, equivalent to 3 mod 4, right? We just subtract out the 8. And um, 111, well, this is something interesting. This is equal to 100 plus 11, okay? Well, this 100, if I try to, you know, see what this is equivalent to mod 4, well, 100 is divisible by 4, so I don't care about it mod 4. This is 0 mod 4 right? It's divisible by 4. And so this is just still equivalent to 3 mod 4. And in fact, I can keep adding whatever, you know, power of 10 I want. I can add 1000 plus 100 plus 11, which is actually the next term in the sequence, 1111. And I'm still going to get, you know, this is still 0 mod 4. This is still 0 mod 4. I'm still going to get that this is 3 mod 4. And so every element in the sequence is just um, 100 times some power, uh, times, you know, some integer, I'm not even gonna go into the details of this, um, plus 11, okay, for all n, the sequence, and so therefore, we know that um, every element of the sequence Sequence um, one, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Um, every element of the sequence is equivalent to 3 mod 4. 
and we're done because we just proved that no square can be equivalent to 3 mod 4. So therefore, since every number in this sequence is equivalent to 3 mod 4, um, none of them are perfect squares. And that's it.